you see one deep coach here looks like a bag mark here as well a slanting mark and the facial part is showing where on high points but you see the hair motifs preserved their structure so it's not that born as it's seen from here the elevation is evident on this part as well on this nose so high points are in average condition so liberty some we have some stain here unpleasant stain spots carbon one large carbon spot here and another freckle here date is readable and sharply struck in god we trust as well let's check backside so now here is you see the fg it's in its place it's not missing let me zoom in moment it's like much better so if she's here it's not missing and it's not floating memorial roof yes these elements are available present so it's not over polished it's normally struck circulated penny it's not weakly struck because stairs are seen as well are delineated but just uh, light light softness is a very, uh, present light strike softness no major contact marks in this on this part just tiny nick here so nothing distracting large no large distraction one carbon spot here is it carbon or stain it's it's definitely carbon okay let's check the value of this date as well 1969 philadelphia so 1969 i'm i'm sure most of you know that have one super valuable date a uh, variety which is double die of verse okay So no information here. So the mintage why well, it doesn't it doesn't show even mintage. So let's refer to PCGS then. So mintage was really gigantic. One billion or one billion, one point one billion. Philadelphia diameter 90 millimeters 95% copper and 5% zinc so the high-end gems are considered MS67 specimens as we can see PCG is certified just 17 17 of them that fine with non finer among 1.1 billion approximately so they are considered rare in this condition of ms67 
which lacks three points from absolute perfection, numismatic perfection, that is MS-70. But nevertheless, even red specimens, due to huge mintage, even red specimens of high-end, high-end grades, like MS-70, 67, they, are, they sell for something between $280 and $1,600. For instance, this is the top sale. Let's see. Also at heritage auctions. This specimen graded MS67 red. Very nice, glowing red. Very sharply struck. Letterings are bold. Lettering is bold. I, I don't know why they why lettering is in not not in plural in grammatic something always a confuse so the date okay liberty fine in god we trust uh, device elements are sharply struck let's check the back side as well Backside is much more beautiful. And you see the FG is available. No roof, uh, no flying roof here. Just tiny, some tiny back marks or something here. Very nice specimen. Look how sharp this monument is. Very beautiful specimen and it was sold for $1,645 this is top sale of this uh, variety of this uh, grade MS67 according to PCGS at heritage auctions so let's see what we have else here let's zoom out So guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe and like button to help us grow. Your support is highly appreciated. But can also check the inbox for further emails. Nothing yet. Okay. Now let's check out these 1956 D Lincoln Penny, also in very beautiful condition, but it is circulated, as you can see. Circulated brown, with just tiny bits, tiny traces, little traces of original luster. They are almost not visible. But uh, surfaces, the fields are very clean. Let me zoom in. But the facial part has some strike softness, but this is, I think, is seen in most 1956d Lincoln sands because I many times checked this and many times uh, featured this in my videos this this um, 1956d from Denver the month mark stands for Denver here the date 1956 Liberty one moment. Excuse me. Okay. 
liberty and in god we trust nothing distracting here just some scratch some seen abrasions seen uh, but they are of not, not insignificant sizes overall it's in about uncirculated condition as far as i can tell from this side you see the color is mostly free of nix here we have just slight slight very slight uh double dream or railroad dream but it's not that significant okay let's turn it over this side of the coin has less less good uh, a little bit worse appealing we have one carbon spot on n of one face value but you see most encirculated specimens these with ears are worn off or strike softly but this specimen you see therefore i tell it's about encirculated extremely fine because you see even these details are available are present are not worn in as old pennies let's say from 1909 or uh, that viewer sent us 1917 penny they were the wheat ears were totally worn off but here we see clear details the motifs of these wheat ears or else not that bad now let's check the pricing if you have 1956d sent us coin sent us pictures to see Let's compare them. Whose are better? Okay. One moment. So we should look for 1956 D Lincoln set. Yeah, I was talking about this softness on the facial motifs. And this is seen in most 1956 pennies, even in mean state gems. You see this MS67 plus red. Okay. The mintage was also massive, one over one billion. Weight is three point eleven grams, a nominal weight for copper penny. And metal composition is the same, ninety five percent copper, five percent tin and zinc. So let's see. In about uncirculated condition like this, it is worth less than three dollars because uh, it starts according to PCGS MS60 starts from three dollars but we should also refer to NGC price guide for more realistic prices for circulated specimens So let's say ours is between AU55 and AU58 and the guiding price is at 20 cents for a cent and 25 cents 
to something between 20, 20 to 25 cents, maybe 23 cents, let's say. So it sees even less worth less than a dollar. But in higher grades, in super gem condition, it can fetch, I think. Oh, this is brown. Let's check red. Red conditions in MS sixty seven condition. It is worth three hundred and sixty dollars according to NGC price guide. But according to PCGS price guide, in red condition, let's see. In mint state sixty seven, it is worth three hundred and twenty five dollars. And in mint state sixty seven with plus designation. It is worth $1,700. But there is also one exception where it was sold for $18,000. Let's see that coin. Let's check out that coin. Yes, this is, I think, record, record holder. But we should also verify it, whether it's record holder and great collections archive because sometimes they the coins they sell for a lot of money but somehow PCGs don't point the, the fact that the highest price is real was realized in their auction I don't know why whether they don't update information all the time or what So this is $18,000 sold in 2022 at Heritage Auctions.